one of the things that comes up with things like garden poles is they require heaps and heaps of tessera. So it's how can we do it um, so it's not too expensive. I was really lucky my friend spotted these up on Marketplace and asked me if I wanted to help share out with her other friend uh, on buying them. So I ended up with these ones which are like um, $1.70 per sheet. So that's an awesome saving but also very affordable. So if you're on a tight budget, think about these tiles. But but don't think of them in terms of, oh my God, they look like kitchen tiles. What am I going to do with that? So now I'm going to have a look at some ideas on how do you mess about with these tiles so that you turn them into mosaic tessera. So for, th for this sort of activity, and if you want to learn how to do this as we're going along, get yourself a ruler. I always like rulers that have inches and centimetres because whether we like it or not we are in a global community and if we go to Bunnings we will get both types of measures in what we get. You can chop these up however you like so you can end up with lots and lots of squares based on the width of your tile as you can see here squares so it's just a matter of drawing the lines where you're going to cut them. You might want to do uh, like subway looking tiles hand cut them so you get more of a rustic I've made this feel of, with your art you can have longer ones depending on the design that you're doing you can also cut your longer subways at an angle into righties and lefties or to then turn them into keystones so you get up these great little keystone shapes that end up looking something similar to that although that's a bit bit of an angle there so that's a whole bunch more new shapes you can just draw a pattern on and then start chopping away so it's really important also to if you can while you've saved lots of money here is save up for a really good set of of wheel nippers these one are montelits and they are just fantastic for things like tiles um, i find them for my hands the easiest. Originally got them for crockery as recommended by Mango Mosaics but now I just use them for heaps and heaps of stuff. So anything over about four mil, perfect. So you can just cut away like that and you might want to grind the edges if it gets a bit rough or a bit wonky or you might want to use, you could use a grinder but of course that's more money as well um, and see what you get out of those sort of shapes and it's just a matter of thinking about the tiles these are uh, i think did i say they were kit kat tiles um, and they're a bit softer they're not shiny ones so i quite like that uh, finish because they'll be more of a background tile for me i want to make a spiral that curls down pole is I want to make a spiral that curls down and around the pole. Um, this will just give a, a sudden structure to whatever it is I'm going to create. I'll leave gaps at certain points wherever the mood takes me and that can be where the design bleeds in and out of this spiral around the pole. So on so one of these this is the easiest way to do it. You cut your long tile in half and then because it is 15 mil across here you go in 15 mil and then draw a line from there to the point so I do that by hand because I want it to look a little more organic and then on the opposite side you do the same thing so then I will have this arrangement for going down my spiral and as you can see when I cut that off it starts to go down so I'll do I'll do maybe three or four of these tiles I've cut them now so you can see how it's going to spiral I've cut up a few and you can see how it uh, makes a spiral quite easily you could always put things in between make curly cues really it's up to you so get cracking with your tessera pull them out if you've got stuff like this and just play and experiment and see what happens